In two weeks, it will be a new year. Not January 1st of 2023, but a new liturgical year, the first Sunday of Advent. So every year during this month of November, when we also remember all those of our family and friends who have died, beginning with the Feast of All Souls on November 2nd, we also are reminded in our readings, both the daily Mass and Sunday Mass, of the end of the world. This is the end of the liturgical year, almost the end. Next Sunday will be the glorious celebration of Christ the King, a powerful feast of victory, Christ being King of the universe, and all will be in God's hands. A great feast for me personally, since I was pastor at Christ the King for 34 years. But this is the last Sunday, unfortunately, that you'll be seeing me or Father Jojo or Father Joe wearing beautiful Kelly green Irish vestments. <laughs> you'll see us wear them again on Sunday, January 15th. So the end of the world, what does that mean? Well, in my lifetime, there's been many times when people thought the end of the world might be coming. I remember during the Cuban Missile Crisis, they thought if we are attacked by nuclear weapons on, on this hemisphere, that could destroy both Americas. Vladimir Putin has threatened possibly to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine that would do unbelievable damage to Ukraine and much of Western Europe. When the calendars changed from December 31st, 1999 to January 1st, 2000, people said, why 2K? Everything will collapse. All computers will collapse, hospitals will close down, people will die, and so it didn't happen. Why not? Because Jesus said, you do not know. Over and over again, Jesus said, you do not know. So when people start telling you the world is coming to an end, they're not taking Jesus for his word. And I've heard people say, well, now, in this 21st century, think of all the wars that are happening. Think of all the insurrections. Think of all the floods and tornadoes and hurricanes and terrible things, the political division and so on. This must be near the end of the world. And I think all those things have been happening for thousands of years. We just hear about them more quickly. Minutes after anything happens anywhere on the planet Earth, we know about it because of social media, technology, satellite, you know, beaming pictures down to us and so on. So I think all these things have happened in fact, even in the Bible, Paul kept thinking the world was going to end in his lifetime. That was 2,000 years ago. So he told people, if you're not married, stay single. If you're married, stay married. Don't do anything different. Get ready. The end is about to come. And it didn't. So Paul didn't hear Jesus' words either. Let's not worry about when the world will come to an end. So what is this gospel all about? Why do we have to read it when the bottom lesson is you don't know when the world will come to an end? Because I think what Jesus is saying is what are you doing every single day of your life? Don't worry about when your world will come to an end, when you and I will die and that day will come. Hopefully not soon for me and hopefully all of you. But what about today? Sunday, November 13th, this year of our Lord, 2022. You know, many places Jesus said, at the end, you'll see the Son of Man coming upon a cloud. Angels and saints escorting him. Well, that's a beautiful scene, but again, we don't know when that will happen. We don't know the day nor the hour. But when will you see Christ today? Not coming on a cloud, but first of all, can you see Christ in yourself? Do you really believe that you are made in the image and likeness of God? That's in the Bible. Do you believe that? Do you believe that by baptism, you are a temple of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And this temple of our body is more beautiful than the temple of Jerusalem. Jesus prophesied right, that temple was destroyed. Jesus spoke those words in about the year 30, and that temple was destroyed in the year 70. Jesus' prophecy came true. All the stones that they saw were destroyed. There's still one part of that temple still existing. It's called the Western or the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem. So do you see God in yourself? I'm not saying be conceited or proud or think you're better than other people, but we are all given talents, abilities, skills, personalities. 
That is God in you. Don't worry about seeing Christ in the clouds. How about God in you? And next you see God in other people. You might say, easily enough, in my husband, my wife, our children, the people I love very much, who love me, they are very godly, very Christian, very wonderful and kind. Oh, yeah, we get in our fights and disagreements, but we apologize, we make up because we love each other. That's godly activity. But we are asked to see God in every single human being that lives on earth. There's not a single human being that is not made in the image and likeness of God. So how about those people that we don't get along with? Could be relatives, friends, neighbors, whatever. How about people that we think are less than ourselves? That's a sin. It's called prejudice. And so that's the real challenge. Not worrying about the end of the world. When will Christ come upon those clouds? When will I die? What will I do today? Will I see Christ in me? Will I bring that Christ in me to others because I see Christ in them as well? Perhaps you've been at some parties or get-togethers or game nights or whatever when you were asked, if this was the last day you had to live on earth, what would you do differently? Wouldn't it be nice if all of us could say, there's nothing I would do differently. I think I'm doing everything well. If this is my last day on earth, I'm ready to go to God. I think most of us would say, oh, I got a lot of work to do. I got to make a few apologies. Maybe I better run to church and go to confession. Maybe I better say a couple of rosaries, whatever. Well, I don't think this is the last day, I hope, for any of you here. But it is another day. This is the day of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. You just have one Sunday, November 13th, 2022 in your life. This is the only such date. How will you live it today? Will you see Christ in yourself and in others? And that's what it's all about, a challenge not to worry about tomorrow or next year or the end of the world. One day at a time, be your very best.